What's up, Wolf Packers? It's a busy time here at the Wolf Den. Join us, won't you, as we unwrap these guys and get to reviewing. So I get it. There's a pandemic going on, right? I pre-ordered this way back in March, and right now they're slowly trickling in. My whole thing was, instead of sending me packages with one or two figures, just hold on to everything until you have it all, and send me one box that has the entire wave instead of just a bunch of little guys. Don't mind me. That's just boomer talk. I got the unsafety knife. Gonna bust this bad boy open. I don't even know who's in here yet. Let's find out. And we got sweet weapon X. I like this guy. This one, uh, mischievous wanted this one to come in time for my birthday. We missed it, but you know what? It's cool. We got it. We got it now. Top of box got the AOA or Age of Apocalypse. Pause that if you want to read it. Sick. I mean, it's the there's they've had other iterations of this one. But I don't have any of them, so it's new to me. All right, let's get on with the second one. Mystery package number two is Morph. So this is an alternate universe where Morph isn't. He's not the Morph that we knew from like the animated series or the comic line. We're gonna have to find out more of his background. I mean, the the box art, he looks like he's he's still the same ridiculous guy that he is in our universe. Face scope, what's her, what's your initial thought of that face scope? Leave a comment below. Same thing with Wolverines. What do you guys think of his face? And then we've got the two legs for the Sugar Man. All right, guys, so what are we thinking so far about this wave? Dark Beast and Wild Child we've got open. We've got Weapon X and Morph coming out pretty soon. Um, what are, what are we feeling with the build a figure? What are we feeling with the rest of the wave? Leave a comment below. How ironic that Wolverine is going to meet the blade. It's a fat little mold. I don't recognize it offhand. Leave a comment if you know what, if this is a reprint of any other lower body. And that somehow is supposed to go onto this for, that's the back of Sugar Man, the back plate of his upper torso. Weapon X is out of the box. Oh, you can. Pretty sick looking figure, guys. It's got the typical Wolverine body with the butterfly joints. This is a much bigger head scope with the mange, the, the hair just being all rocking and rolling out there. I like the good uh, the paint scopes on the hair. Then he's got a little bit of stubble. I don't know if you can pick that up, but he's got stubble on top of the chops. Uh, that Wolverine hairy uh, upper, upper torso. And then get right into articulation it's it's the basic one so you know if you, you've seen one wolverine you've seen them all what the wolverines have that are different from the uh, bucky cap mold is the butterfly joint similar to the spider-man mold but with this uh butterfly joint you can do a lot more poses that you can't do with say like the this is a bucky cap mold here his lone accessory would be capped or uncapped I'm kind of upset that they don't use the uh, Wolverine X-Force X-Factor claws that we got from those. They keep, they keep using these. I'm, I'm, I'm a little tired of these. I, I'd like something different. That was something different. I, I like those for a change of pace. All right, let's move on to Morph. Turn on notifications, guys, because like I said, they are slowly trickling in. Jean Grey, Sunfire, and X-Man will be on their way soon. Look at the back of the box. It's El Sabanur. That's cool. That's a cool detail. Then we have an inverted duplicate of the one we just opened from Weapon X. When he's coming out of the box, don't pull him out of the packaging this way. Um, just undo the head and then pull the package back from the back. All right, guys, Morph is out of the box. This is a alternate version of him. Like I said, the AOA is an alternate universe where Professor Charles Xavier gets killed way back in the 1960s, doesn't form the X-Men. Right off the bat, I thought that this was a copy of Magneto's cape, like a recycled 
went and got them. It's not the same cape, so that's a new mold, apparently. I've even got this Magneto to compare them with. If you've seen this one reused in something else, leave a comment below. Um, let's pop this off for the sake of the articulation. So we got the Bucky Cap mold, but it's got the uh, butterfly joints, which is more like the, uh, the Sunfire from uh, the Warlock wave. So you can do, or even like the Silver Surfer or Iceman. We all know the articulation. Kicks forward that much, kicks back that much, spreads it open that far. Uh, thigh rotation, double jointed at the knees. We've got the boot cuff. Uh, I'll get back to this in just a second. Uh, up and down, 360 at the ankle. And then, like I said, yeah, the butterfly joints, you could do a whole lot of posing with that. 360 at the shoulder, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and then comes with two fisted hands. No accessories. That, that would have been nice. A little something, you know, a pistol. Uh, I, I know he's a, sh a shapeshifter, so, you know. A couple head scopes? Come on, uh, Hasbro. Don't don't get cheap on me. Don't get cheap on me right now. Don't get cheap on me, Dodson. Speaking of alternate head scopes, and I'm going to refer back to what I meant for this, they are begging you, begging you to make an alternate of Cyclops. To do a respray of the dark phoenix cyclops they're just they're throwing it out there like here guys have some fun with this uh all you would need to do is a darker blue you've got the head scope you've got everything set it's they, they're they're begging you to do it the dark phoenix two-pack originally when first sold was a toys r us exclusive fifty dollars is what it cost back then by 2017 it had already jumped to 150 right now it's probably somewhere in the 300 dollars range for a sealed two pack i am more than okay with doing a modification if it means getting a figure that would cost me close to 300 dollars to get <laughs> Never overpay, guys. Hasbro will re-release a figure a couple years down the line. They might tweak a little something here and there, but don't spend any more than $35, $40 for a figure. In two to three years, they'll re-release the figure, and then you feel like the... Put them up. Put them up. All right, what do you guys say we get these guys in the studio and get them checked out? Back in studio, guys. We paired up Weapon X and Morph. So this is the wave as we have it right now. What are our initial thoughts on the wave? Comment below. And we got this mystery one that just came in as we're shooting. We're going to open this one up on Instagram on our live account. So check that one out. We're going to try and do them every Friday. This Friday, we're going to be playing the new expansion pack for Aftermath on Mortal Kombat 11. Check us out on Instagram if you want to play along with us live. It's a busy time right now. We got two waves coming in. Tons of stuff moving around. Tons of merch moving right now at the Wolfpack Toy Review. Then we took a trip to Dollar Tree, found these little blind packs. Cost a dollar. We'll try them out. They're Lego-like. We'll compare them. I mean, they, they cost a buck. Question of the day is, what do we think of this wave? Is it worth picking up? I know Sugar Man wouldn't be the ideal Build-A-Figure for this, but the whole point of this uh, wave is that it's alternative. It's something completely different. I would say Sugar Man is completely different from everything we know. So just like that, we've got a new member revealed. Sunfire was revealed on our Friday live stream. So follow us on Instagram if you want to check that out. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's a super cool effect. Got the Wolfpack official safety light. So yeah, uh, new guy adding. So we need uh, Nate Summers and Jean Grey. And that'll complete the Sugar Man. Turn on notifications if you guys want to check out what we're doing. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed this one. Deuces.